everyone. Every year, the school chooses a distinguished guest to speak at Speech Day. This year, the honor went to Mrs. Jennifer Stone, class of 97. Mrs. Stone attended QMS for four years, graduating as a prefect and head of St. Hughes. During that time, she was involved in writing and the chapel choir, and was also active in a number of sports. Following her time at QMS, she completed two Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of Calgary in European history and in in and international relations. While residing at Oxford, Jennifer completed a graduate diploma at Christie's Education in London in the history of early European art and antiquities and was awarded the Richard Nicholas Prize for Highest Achieving Research Project. Research project. In 2008, she completed a master's degree with distinction in the history of art and connoisseurship at the University of Glasgow. Jennifer and her husband moved to London in 2008 while she worked at Christie's Auction House, London and Paris, developing their anti-money laundering and fraud protection program. In 2009, Jennifer and Greg moved back to Calgary to be closer to home and start a family of their own. Jennifer currently works for the City of Calgary in their Corporate Security Department and specializes in corporate intelligence and internal fraud investigations. She will complete her diploma in security management from the University of Calgary later this year. Jennifer still considers QMS to be like a second home and believes that her years at the school helped her to realize and develop her potential and in all aspects of life. It's my great pleasure to introduce to you our guest speaker for today, Mrs. Jennifer Stone. And to this day, I still feel as though QMS is my other home. 
The girl across the hall, incidentally, is named Sarah Norris, and she's still one of my very dearest friends. Four years later, fast forward, I was graduating with the class of 12, amazing young women, and again I was facing the unknown. I had to leave the safety net of these very walls that surround us here today. I was about to start the next part of my life, and I was a bit anxious. Yet, I was also excited by the prospect of taking all I could gain with QMS and applying it to my career, my family, and my community. So, the maybe 16 graduation years between us, but I am sure many of you are feeling very same way today. I'm sure you're excited to embark on the next stage of your lives. Maybe you a bit apprehensive about what the world might have in store for you. I'm sure you're sad to say goodbye to your friends, who I'm sure are like sisters to you now. And maybe you're ready to make some new ones. Some of you may know exactly what you want to do for the next 5, 10, 20 years of your lives. And some of you might still be deciding on which road to take. I can say with some authority on the matter that I have experienced all of these feelings. I thought I knew exactly what I wanted to do in university, and I thought I knew exactly what I wanted to do when I got out. <clears throat> it turns out I really had no idea what I wanted to be, and to be honest, I'm still not sure if I know what I want to be when I grow up. But I do know who I want to be. Since graduation, I've had the opportunity to live in Calgary, Hamilton, Ontario, Waterton Park, Alberta, Oxford, and London, UK. I attended several fantastic post-secondary institutions, including the University of Calgary and the University of Glasgow. I've been a hospitality manager uh, in the Alberta Tourism Industry, a bank manager for National Westminster Bank in Oxford, and I've worked at Christie's Auction House in both London and Paris. And now, I have an exciting career in corporate security with the City of Calgary. I've been given the opportunity to take what I have learned through my formal education and combine it with the skills that I've picked up in hospitality, banking, and the art auction industry. And I've become a specialist in corporate intelligence and security analytics. And I work to protect city employees, citizens, and our public officials, including the very popular mayor, Naki Benchi, which I hope some of you have heard of. I've had the opportunity to travel and see many wonderful places, beautiful works of art, and exciting, intelligent, and interesting people along the way. So it might seem to many of you like I'm strangely eclectic career path, going in all different directions, and you're right, that's exactly what it is. There have been ups and downs, and successes, and failures along the way. <coughs> However, I believe that life isn't meant to be lived in a straight line, especially not in today's world. Being adaptable, resourceful, and innovative are three of the most important skills that you can leave with today. So with that, I'd like to share a, a couple of things I've learned from my adventures. I was invited here today to share some wisdom, well, some of your fears, so I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> so first, this is important, seize. Every opportunity that presents itself, no matter how insignificant it might seem at the time. It could be the chance that makes your career, or take you on a journey that you have never expected for yourself. When you say yes to opportunities, you create openings to make new friends and develop a strong network of mentors and supporters. Also, this is very important as well, don't let a job description or a scholarship application get you down. They may seem daunting at first, but just remember, you might be just the person they're looking for. You won't know if you don't try, and trust me, graduates, you're going to fill out a lot of application forms in the next couple of years, so you might as well go big. You're only limited by what you don't attempt. You can make your own luck by working at your strengths and being persistent in failures. Not everyone is going to say yes to you, but keep going all the same. The dream
dream job that you think you might want now may not be the dream job down the road. But if you keep doors open and develop skills that are transferable, you will find a career that makes you jump out of bed, at least most mornings. Be diligent and enthusiastic in pursuing your passions. I can promise you that you won't always love your job or where you are. But if you're fervent and determined about the kind of life you want, you will get there in the end. It's your best chance of really learning from and loving what you do. I was asked once by a personal coach to write a diary of my life 10 years in the future. I didn't write about which career I wanted. I instead wrote about what I wanted my life to look like. Who I wanted to surround me, who I wanted to share my life with, and the kind of person that I wanted to become. It was one of the best exercises I've ever done, and I really would like to encourage you to try it out. And the important thing to remember and to focus on is who you want to be, not what you want to be. You are a talented, intelligent, and able group of young women who are ready to make the world you want it to be. You have taken a key step towards your successful future and are now armed with the tools needed to forge your path ahead. And it's not just your stellar grades <laughs> or your high school diploma, it's what you've learned along the way, the friends that you've made, the mentors that you look up to and the family that you've made proud. To serve is to work, and work requires tools. You're all now equipped to serve your communities and by serving them and improve them. I want to wish all of this year's graduates a truly heartfelt congratulations. You should all be very proud of yourselves and all you have accomplished, as it is yet the foundation of all you have yet to do. Thank you very much. I also brought uh, just a small gift for the, the graduates um, this year. It's a book on a art of artist, artist, just a nice little catalog. And I have our, uh, Mr. Nenshi, Mary Nenshi, sign it to the graduates. So there you are. <laughs> for all of your words you've shared with us today. You provide wisdom and inspiration for all of us graduates. And I'm honored to present you with a gift for your words today. 